Uh, well, in this video lecture, we are going to discuss the properties of factor demand function and supply function of the firm. As we know from the previous uh, lecture, where was that input demand function is the function of prices. That is the price of output and the price of input. So the factor demand function can be reported as x is the optimal factor bundle and it depends upon the price of output and the prices of input. Similarly, supply function of the firm it is denoted by y and it also depends upon the price of output and price of input. And these are the optimal choices pro for profit maximization. This is the this shows the optimal choice of factor inputs which also uh, means that the least cost combination of factor input and what is this this is the maximum level of output that maximizes your profit given these prices that is the price of output and the price of input in other words we can say that these functions are the solution of the maximization of profit if we are interested in the maximization of profit, this is a problem, right? This is an economic problem. And these two functions, that is the factor demand function and the output supply functions, gives us the solution to the maxim profit maximization problem because it chooses the optimal level of input and output. Now, what is important to note that the profit maximization imply certain restrictions on the uh, factor demand function and supply function of the firm. For example, uh, one of such restrictions can be suppose the factor demand function is xi and this is the function of price in, price of output and price of input. And suppose we scale these up by a positive scalar t we scale up the output price as well as the input price by a positive scalar which is which is t right so what will happen to the profit maximization uh, factor demand function it will remains as it is it is the function of prices both of output as well as input now what does this mean it means that if you are increasing the output prices it will increase your total revenue similarly if you are increasing the input prices it will increase your total cost so again the difference between total revenue and total cost will remain unchanged and this property is known as the factor demand function is homogeneous of degree zero because if you are increasing both the prices by a specific scalar so the factor demand function remains constant because the output prices increases your revenue at the same time increase in the entered price raise your total cost right and increase in the output prices offsets the increase in the input prices so that is why your total the difference between total revenue and total cost remains unchanged and that's why uh, we say that the factor demand function is homogeneous of degree zero so this is the first property of the factor demand function so what are the implications of this property in, in the profit maximization behavior so if the firm profit maximization behavior follows this restriction then the form is profit maximizing form otherwise it will not so the homogeneous of degree zero of the factor demand functions uh, help us whether the form is profit maximizing or not so we also need some other types of restrictions we need a set of restrictions uh, which could uh, help us to analyze the behavior of the form whether, whether it is it is profit maximizing or not so to uh, highlight such restrictions we can use three different approaches to analyze the behavior of a profit maximizing firm so these approaches are 
the first one is the analysis of the first order conditions the second one is the algebraic approach and the third one is dual approach the approaches are important both from uh, the uh, theoretical as well as from the empirical perspectives uh, moreover in these approaches we would use the concept of comparative uh, comparative statics or sensitivity analysis to analyze the profit maximizing behavior of the firm by comparative statics we mean that if we change the economic uh, environment for a, an economic problem and we analyze the before and after uh, equilibrium of the firm is uh, to change the uh, economic environment of the firm we relax the assumption which we have taken or which we are taking uh, before the initial equilibrium for example in profit maximizing behavior we suppose that uh, the prices of factor input remains constant prices of output remains constant uh, budget with the producer remains constant so if we analyze either of these assumptions and before and after relaxing these assumptions we would we will get two equilibrium so if we compare the before and after equilibriums uh, then, then then such analysis is known as comparative statics or comparative static analysis or in some some time we call it uh, sensitivity analysis so how can we apply these three approaches to analyze the uh, properties of the factor demand function uh, and supply function or we can say that the profit maximizing behavior of the firm uh, we will discuss it in the next uh, videos thank you thanks for watching